Even the likes of Gartner are showing high levels of concern with advice to rapidly address spending, as this very recent comment demonstrates quite nicely. There's five key steps that we suggest an organisation should take in order to, to contain costs and mitigate risks, especially in the current environment. Firstly, prepare an audit defence plan. Optimise your 365 estate. Take control of your SaaS investments. Review your support contracts and renewals and evaluate your ITAM service providers. Combining all of these will develop a strategic approach to addressing cost containment and risk mitigation. So what are the key components of a good audit defence plan? We suggest the following. A clear and well-defined RACI matrix. This will include people at all levels in your organisation. Whilst the RACI will define individuals and their roles at a high level, for key people, a more detailed approach should be taken to ensure that they know and understand their respective roles. A documented audit process whereby you take control of the auditor, not the other way around. The process should also identify data sources and information required for key vendors. Also, what support can you draw on internally and from third parties? For example, IT service providers, such as SHI. And how can you use their skills and experience to your advantage? Bringing these together will help you prepare for those unwanted, but perhaps inevitable audits heading your way. Now we're going to look at Microsoft 365 optimization. Squeezing the most value from your 365 estate requires a change in thinking. We remember the old world with perpetual licenses and now face a new world with SaaS-based services. In the old world with perpetual licenses, our organizations were concerned with, do we have enough copies? What are the product use rights and is it being used correctly? Do we own the correct version for what is installed? When will our version go end of life or end of support? Compare those with the questions we now face concerning the cloud. Are we oversubscribed? What are the impacts to our budget? Are we getting the most out of what we paid for? What are the security risk? In this segment, we will visit some areas we feel are useful in managing cost around 365. In order to optimize your environment, ask yourself these questions. Am I overspending? And if so, where are the gaps? What are we using in the 365 platform? And how can I increase utilization? Are we harvesting subscriptions in a timely fashion after exits? And how long can we write, how long will it be before we can right size our enterprise agreement? And do we have the proper tools for optimizing counts? Answering these questions can get your feet on the ground and pointed in the right direction. At SHI, we understand the challenges you face with 365 optimization. Microsoft 365 can have a major impact on your budgets op on your operational budgets if cost and utilization are not managed properly. If you need extra support in this area, please inquire about our 365 optimization services. We're now going to turn our attention to how proactive management of your SaaS environments can support cost and risk management. So let's look in more detail at controlling and optimizing your SaaS investments. Here's some recent research observations in the area, and it doesn't really make pretty reading. In the short term, as you're looking for quick wins to present to your head of finance, taking a close look at SaaS can have significant potential. Operationally, there will also be opportunities to ask, can I move users from that old legacy application to a modern SaaS-based app that provides better features and functionality and better meets the new needs of my workforce? As a side note, helping customers plan and control their cloud migration journeys is another area that SHI excels in. Overall, the opportunity that exists today is to bring all of this under control, to contain costs, and to avoid avoidable risks. SHI, with its partner in Trello, is already helping customers on this journey. Our SaaS management and optimization services are designed specifically for this. The insight that's provided to customers can be staggering. However, just imagine the power that you will gain with the knowledge of the who, what, when, and where of SaaS usage. Our consultants and analysts can support you on this journey. Please do reach out to us to discover more.
Now we're going to look at the importance of taking control of support contracts. Let me ask you this question. When was the last time you reconciled your support contracts and renewal records? We recommend you use a core strategy when reconciling your support contracts and renewal records. Let's begin with C, consolidate. First, identify what teams in your, in your organization can provide you data, and then create a single source of truth for what you find. Next, organize what you find. Document your findings. By chance, do you have an application you can leverage for this information? If not, we recommend you create a template with available tools such as Excel. After everything is organized, it's time to review. Evaluate spend and cost based on next payment due dates. Are there any cancellation terms for upcoming support contracts and renewals? If so, you need to ensure these terms are met before your organization, if your organization will not renew a contract. Keep in mind, this is an excellent time for engaging the vendor and negotiating better pricing and restructured terms. Finally, embark, start your course of action. Terminate support agreements and renewals that will not be retained. Update your payment due dates as invoices are paid. This way your list revolves annually. Next, we're going to evaluate your service, your ITAM service providers. Key question to ask is, who are your IT asset management service providers? They will come in many shapes and sizes. Some may be pure tools providers, others like SHI, who will provide advisory services and tools and even some of the vendors themselves provide facilities to support the management of their products and services in your, in your environment. In our roles here at SHI, we put our customer interests first. We seek to be independent and objective. As a company, SHI has relationships with many vendors, and we can leverage this to our customers' advantages.